In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install the bezel project for Windows for use with your MAME installation. Stay tuned. Welcome here to the hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to install the bezel project for Windows. Uh, the bezel project provides a lot of different bezels for a lot of different consoles. Like you could do retro art, you could do uh, MAME, which is what we're going to be focusing on today. But let's go ahead and download it, get it installed, and then we'll check it out. So the first thing we want to do is go to the link in the description. And it's going to take you to the GitHub page of the bezel project. And it's bezel project Windows. So as of making this video, we're on version 1.1.3. So what we want to do is go to bezel.project.setup.exe and we'll just download that real quick. I'm just going to do it to my desktop. Hit save. There we go. And we can close that out. Now we'll double click the installer. And it's going to say Windows protected your PC. But if we click more info, we can click run anyway, and this is safe. There's nothing to worry about. Um, so the 1.1.3 will hit next. I accept the agreement. Next, next. I'm going to create a shortcut on my desktop. I'll hit next and install. And it's going to ask if I want to launch bezel project. Finish. There we go. So you can read through all this if you want to. Um, I'm basically going to show you what needs to be done, but if you want to take a quick read through here, it doesn't hurt any. Hit OK. Now, before downloading or using any of the choices in the utility menu, make sure you set the directory paths and bezel style type under preferences. So we'll hit OK. And first thing we want to do is, like they mentioned, hit preferences. So if you're using Android, uh, a native MAME install, which is what we'll be focusing on today, there's also a Switch, Wii U, PS3, Vita, if you have RetroArch installed, or Rocket Launcher. So I'm going to set my MAME install directory, and I'm using my Arcade HQ build, that's where I have my MAME, so I'm going to go to H, Arcade HQ, hit MAME, hit OK, and we have two options, so themed will be like a game themed for each bezel, or we have system art, so it shows the system over here, and the game over here. I'm going to stick with themed, but you can use the drop down menu to choose system. I like themed. And then we're going to make sure we hit save. And then it's going to say download, uninstall, update bezel pack. So I'm going to click number one. And I want MAME. So I'm going to process MAME. And I'm going to hit OK. So I like to do the update install script first. Hit OK. It's updated. Install MAME. Hit OK. Now this is going to take some time, so I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's near completion. If anything pops up during, I will come back and let you guys know. So I just wanted to cut into the video here. Um, 7-Zip is extracting it now. So basically the last screen you saw, it was just downloading the compressed file and now it is extracting everything. It started off a little slow but it seems to be moving fairly quickly and if it doesn't take too long then I'll just stick with the video here. Okay so it's going to create the artwork directories of 2416. So not every single game will have a bezel but we are close. Uh, we're about 210 roughly off 209. But that that's a lot of bezels. Um, and a lot of work, so my hat's off to everyone involved with the bezel project. Um, it's it's an amazing undertaking, and I can't believe how much work they put into it, but it's totally worth it once you have it installed. And some people like bezels, and some people don't. So with my Arcade HQ, I decided I was going to release it without bezels, and then add some bezel options, or even uh, stretch your screen full screen, and things of that nature. That way, People just have options. You can have it stock exactly how you get it, or you can decide to add bezels, or you can decide to stretch the screen and stuff like that. So I'll let this finish up and I'll come right back. Okay, so we're almost completed here. 
Now it should just process pretty quickly, um, adjusting the lay files. This one usually goes pretty fast. But again, like there's just so much work that went into this and, you know, for the second time in this video, I still, I got to tip my hat to, to everyone involved with the bezel project. It's just a, a phenomenal piece of work. So this is just removing all of our temp files. And there we go. So what I'm going to do now is exit. And I'm going to go to my Arcade HQ folder. I'm going to launch it up. And let's take this for a test drive. Boom. So there we go. Nice and easy. I'll exit out. And let's try WrestleFest. There we go. Boom. And I'm going to try a vertical game. So I'll go down to, how about Donkey Kong? There we go. Donkey Kong. Bam. Look at that. So this just looks amazing. No fuss, no muss. Just go ahead. You've got awesome bezels and you can play all of your games. Everything looks fantastic. So much better than black bars and way better than stretching your screen out. Although some people do prefer that. But to me, this is just top notch. So that is how you install the bezel project for Windows. And to cover up your MAME installation, you can go ahead and add it to it. As I mentioned, I mean, my build has over 2,600 games, and this covers almost all of them. That is phenomenal. So that's going to do it for this one, everybody. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.